Hey guys, so welcome to week four. Um, it's been, it's been a week. So I'm gonna keep this as short as possible. Um, I had a pretty okay week um, eating wise. I was able to track for most of the days and I did not track a couple of the days. Um, it was a very emotional week for a variety of reasons. One being what's currently happening in the world. And two, for me at least, there's just, there was a lot of, um, there was a lot of anxiety that I felt this week. I particularly felt the anxiety of turning in a 300 page dissertation to my committee, which I did. So I did that on Sunday, and the next step is to do a formal virtual defense in about three weeks. So I have that to look forward to. It wasn't a great week emotionally, guys. I don't want to lie to you. Um, there were highs and lows, and I don't want to focus on the lows, but there were a couple of days where I decided not to track my calories and kind of just ate what I wanted to eat. All healthy foods, but still too many calories most likely. I did manage to bike almost every single day and I had a goal of reaching a 25 mile bike ride by the end of May. So here's a look at that. <laughs> So this is the furthest that I've ever been. And today I'm gonna bike and I'm gonna see what's up there. But I know right now if I turn around, it should be at 25 miles for a round trip. Characterize that ride as kind of an emotional ride. Um, I'm not gonna lie, the first five miles I didn't want to be there. I didn't want to. I didn't want to do it. I couldn't like picture myself all the way, you know, at the end of it. But then on the way back, when I turned around, um, I think part of it is a little bit downhill. So like psychologically, it's easier. It's still really long, but I, I don't know what happened. I just suddenly had all this time to think about all the things that make me upset, that make me angry. And so the ride became like, just I just felt like I was confronting all of these demons that I like forgot about. Um, and I think that's like with any solo sport, you're kinda, especially if you're not listening to music, and when you're on the bike, you're not supposed to be listening to music, or at least I don't. Um, so like for two hours, just kind of alone with my thoughts and all the anxiety that I feel about turning in this dissertation that is so far from perfect and the people in my life that are pissing me off and the world pissing me off right now because of all the hatred that exists. And I, I kept thinking like, I'm so privileged to be able to even ride my bike without worrying about like being shot. We all know that there's a lot of bad stuff happening in the world and I, 
it, yeah, there's just like, it, it all came at me. So when I got to the end and made it and saw that I went over 25 miles, super proud of myself, don't get me wrong, but also just really upset. So as you can see, there are some emotions that I was experiencing towards the end of that ride. But overall, I'm pretty proud of myself that, that I was able to do that. So as expected, I actually gained some weight. I wanted to introduce you guys to a new thing that I'm gonna start in June. In the small weight loss community that I'm a part of on Instagram, there's a, a woman who had weight loss surgery and she created this amazing calendar to really help you track your, your calories and the deficit each day. So as you can see, you wanna put your goal, for me it's just five pounds, and then you multiply that by 3,500 calories. So that would be 17, 500, 17,500, and then you want to divide that by the number of days that you have in the month that you're calculating. So when I did that, I came up with about 583, and I just rounded that up to 600 calories. The other cool thing that she did this time is that she basically gave you a spreadsheet for each day. So each day, you're gonna be able to write down the calories out and the calories in, and then have your deficit right there. If you're interested in this, it's called teamnofinishline.com, and I will link it down below. To print out the calendar, it's $3.50. So every day, I'm gonna write down what my weight is. It's gonna fluctuate. Um, it is Shark Week for me uh, coming up. And for the guys that don't know what that is, you don't need to know, but all the women know what I'm talking about. So we'll see, we'll see how it goes. I do think that cycling is contributing to a little bit of a weight gain. I can definitely feel that my legs are, they're getting stronger and they're much more muscular than they were before. So that's a good thing. I like the idea of trying to have a goal, like a fitness goal that has nothing to do with my weight on the scale per se. So that's why I also had my measurements there because at the end of June, I'm gonna basically see, did anything change? My goals for June, I am planning on trying to get to 30 miles. We'll see how that goes. Uh, one day I'm going to do an entire bicycle tour, like in the future, like five years from now. Um, maybe even bike across America. That's on my list of things that I really want to try to accomplish one day. And I'm going to be doing the, the deficit each day. So I'm going to be tracking that. I'm going to be filling that chart in. I'm going to be brutally honest with myself. And uh, we'll just see what happens. We'll see how it goes. All right. Well, I will see you guys for sure next week. I may post another video for this weekend. Maybe another grocery haul or another low-calorie libation video.